Hello, this is Michael McCarthy. In this video, we're going to take a look at using Ornatrix to uh, set up our furry bat character and to control our hair using some maps. Now, in Ornatrix, you have a lot of different options for using maps to control your hair. We have our basic furry bat character, and you can grab this guy from our sample section in the documentation. And this guy's been set up with a basic surface comb, uh, some hair from guides, length modifier to adjust and kind of play with the length and then of course render settings in order to get the shape of the hair that we want. Now we're going to take this and we're going to go into a couple of these modifiers and add a map. Now many modifiers in Ornatrix have the ability to control your hair via map. So we have a thickness map on render settings, of course a length map in length and in hair from guides we have a distribution map. And if you want to, you can click on these maps and use any map that you want. A uh, parametric map or a bitmap that you might grab, as well as vertex color. If you are using vertex color, however, uh, it's a better idea to use the channel that's implemented here. So right next to any map, you'll see that you have a signed channel. And by default, the vertex color channel is there. This is the best thing to use if you're going to use vertex color. In our case, uh, we're going to actually use additional vertex color map channels that we build with our vertex paint modifier. So let's get started. I'm going to go over to our bat body and just hide our hair for the moment. And with the bat body, I'm going to select and add a vertex paint. Now with this vertex paint, what I'm going to do is take a look at our vertex color display. I don't need my uh, texture at the moment. And instead of just going in and choosing vertex color, which I could if I was only going to do one map, I'm going to choose map channel. And I'll set this to map channel 2, because as we saw, 0 and 1 are already taken. Uh, you don't want to overwrite any channels that you're already using. You may even start higher than this. So for this, I know that I'm going to want to paint kind of a black and white map. I'll just make sure that I fill the whole character with white. And then I'll go in with a black color and I'll decide where I want to paint out some hair for distribution. So around the lips, if we kind of take a look here, you can see I have some areas where um, you know I have hair kind of growing on the lips, especially on the top here, and that's not something that I really want. So I'm going to go in and paint that out with the black. I'll go and click on my uh, paintbrush, and I can just kind of click and drag to paint. Now I've already set up some material IDs in this scene, so I don't really need to worry about really the nose or inside the mouth or anything like that. So, um, you know, I can be pretty liberal with how I'm going about painting this. Make sure I get inside here. And of course, with vertex colors, it's going to kind of depend on your mesh density, the detail level that you can get, but it is a pretty quick way to go about this. If you want to do the same workflow uh, with a map, you could use something like uh, Viewport Canvas, and that might work very well too. So once I'm kind of happy with that, I'm going to go in and just blur it a few times. And actually once I blur it, I might go in and uh, just make sure everywhere I want that is rather dark, I have kind of covered. Okay. So I've picked my channel. I'm going to go with Vertex Channel 2, and I'm going to just rename this to uh, Mouth 2 so I know what channel that I'm working with just if I need to take a quick look. And let's select our bat hair. We'll unhide it. And now under my Hair from Guides, I'll go down to the Distribution Map. And you can see that Map Channel 2 is there, and I'll choose Assign. Now you can see that all the hair that was in this area that is black has been kind of culled back so we don't have any distribution there. And that's a good way to either get rid of or get more or less. If I wanted more hair in some area, then I might go and uh, paint white, which is kind of what we're going to do for the length. I'd start off with a gray and then I'd build up from there. Let's try that with our character's length. Maybe we want this belly hair to be a little bit longer or maybe some hair above the eyebrows. So to do that, I'm going to go add another vertex paint to my character. So just go to the Modify stack, I'm going to add another vertex paint. This is something you could probably do with layers if you wanted to. Uh, I'm just going to do it with another vertex paint because it keeps it easy for me. I'm going to set it to Map Channel 3. 
And now I'm going to set the base color to something like gray. So 65, good to kind of remember this if you're painting uh, with vertex colors. We'll paint the entire thing there. And then I might go in and uh, I'll just hide the hair and look at the texture. That way when I go and paint white, I can kind of see what I'm doing. So I'm going to paint white all around the belly. And it's probably not going to matter so much if I have this near the lips, but uh, I am going to probably go back in and just trim it up after I'm done. So I'm going to go in and maybe add a little bit of a unibrow here for this guy. Kind of goes across, maybe up. And again, the detail level is dependent on uh, what you have here. So if I pop out here, I'm going to blur that out quite a bit. Then I'm going to go back in with that 65. And uh, I might just go around that area because even though that most of that is kind of culled out, I don't want any really long hairs kind of coming up around the mouth area. And I'd like to really trim this back too so I have something that's a little bit better defined along there. Okay, so I can rename this, and name that belly brow, and of course that's channel three. And let's hop back in to our bat hair. So I'm gonna go in and uh, just go to the length modifier, and here you can see we have our length map. I'll go to the channel, and you can see that we have the uh, channel three here. I'll click on assign. And what you can see is all the hair that was kind of gray gets shortened a little bit from that uh, base length of one and gets a little lengthened from that base length of one uh, based on the colors that we made. So probably want to increase that base length to maybe three or more. And there you can see that we have, you know, kind of good coverage and uh, anywhere that we had that longer hair that shows up there. So now we can kind of go back, select our mesh. I'm going to turn off vertex colors and we'll bring back our material and just go in here and uh, show map and viewport for that body material and we can see that we have our character we've uh, trimmed around the lips where we wanted to uh, we've added some longer hair for that length and we've used vertex maps for that so when you go to the bat body you can see that we have our two vertex paint modifiers and under bat hair we've used these in things like length um, and our hair from guides. Now you could also use this in render settings. It's very common that you know hair that's a little bit longer um, might want to be thinner uh, and hair that's shorter might want to be a little thick to give you better coverage. So you can go ahead and add either vertex maps or uh, just basic texture maps to any of the map channels in uh, your Ornatrix modifiers to get better control over your hair grooming. I hope that helps you in your character and hair productions. Thank you very much.